On behalf of the research team of the Michael Bauter Eye Center in Hong Kong, we would like to highlight our recent work published in GUT entitled Microbiota Engraftsman After Fecal Microbiota Transplantation in Obese Subjects with Type 2 Diabetes, a 24-week double-blind randomized controlled trial. Obesity is a global health problem affecting billions of people, leading to increased risks of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and premature death. That microbiota has been shown to play an important role in obesity. Fecal microbiota transplantation, FMT, has generated promising results in animal models. To date, whether FMT leads to sustainable engraftsment of favorable bacteria in humans, and whether this procedure will offer additional benefits to lifestyle modification is entirely unknown. Therefore, we perform a double-blind randomized placebo-controlled trial aiming to investigate whether combining mixed donor repeated fecal microbiota transplantations with lifestyle modification could enhance the engraftment of favorable microbiota in obese subjects with type 2 diabetes and lead to favorable clinical outcomes. In this study, adult subjects with a body mass index of 28 and above and less than 45, as well as a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes for at least three months, were recruited. We had a total of 61 obese subjects with type 2 diabetes, who were randomly assigned to three parallel groups, FMT plus lifestyle intervention, FMT alone, or SHEN, transplantation plus lifestyle intervention, every four weeks for up to 12 weeks. FMT solution was prepared from six healthy lean donors. We found that significant more subjects receiving FMT achieved increased and sustained engraftment of microbiota irrespective of lifestyle intervention, as shown in panel A. The proportion of lean donor microbiota at week 16 and week 24 was significantly higher than week 4, suggesting that repeated FMT led to more engraftment than single FMT, as shown in panel B. Bacterial richness significantly increased only in FMT plus lifestyle arm at week 4 and week 16 after intervention. We then assessed bacterial species that were significantly altered and found that the subjects receiving FMT had a significant increase in Prevotella copri and several virtually producing bacteria, irrespective of lifestyle intervention. After intervention, subjects in FMT plus lifestyle group were enriched with probiotics, bifidobacterium species, and lactobacillus species compared with FMT alone group. Combining lifestyle intervention with FMT led to improvement in lipid profile compared with either intervention alone. In conclusion, our study provides two key messages. The first is that repeated FMTs appear to be safe in the short term and could lead to increased and sustained engraftment of donors' microbiota in patients with obesity and type 2 diabetes. Secondly, adding lifestyle intervention to FMT further improved a subject's microbiota profile reduce their LDL cholesterol and led to improvement of liver stiffness on fibro scan. Our work has provided a strong scientific basis for researchers to further develop FMT as a potential treatment modality for obesity and diabetes. Refining donor selection criteria and metagenomic profile of lean microbiota would render FMT as a potential strategy for obese metabolic syndrome in the future.